Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can track HTML button tags within Matomo Analytics. Uh, this ID came uh, by a client of mine who wanted to measure all uh, the click uh, buttons happening on the website but not the rest. Uh, so I made some search on the internet, couldn't find anything and at some point I found out this great article written by the Matomo team uh, which explained it uh, very easily and um, in a very uh, nice way. So uh, in the example that they are giving, they are giving the uh, one of click on the H1 element. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's, it's pretty uh, easy. It's just rely on the trigger of match the selector uh, CSS and H1. So in my case, if I would like to measure the interaction which are happening on this given button, uh, which is over here, an HTML button, uh, all I need to do is just to mention that it's that is a button that I want to measure. So I can go uh, over here and I can just um, change this out and say click element match the CSS selector button. And as a result, every time that a click uh, will be performed on this given button, so I'm just going to move back on the preview mode over here, uh, we're going to see then the, the button reacting. So here um, I'm getting my um, my preview mode working, but if I'm doing here over here, as you can see, it's just gonna fire the, the click button. And of course I can I can change that out for the rest. Uh, so I could definitely go uh, over here and decide to say unless buttons I want to track like H2 element or either paragraph, it, it doesn't really matter. And as a result, over here, if I go, if I go over here, and if I click on the paragraph, as you can see, uh, on the H2, it's gonna fire the H2. Okay, and uh, then uh, you are good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.